Hello again. So you'd recall that Chipa United had uh, this week withdrawn the appointment of uh, Luke Emel at, uh, as the club's new head coach. Uh, the club had announced the appointment after parting ways with uh, a former coach, uh, Litorno Losima. The appointment of uh, Emil was uh, followed by public outcry in the football community. The Belgian was fired by a Tanzanian club after referring to its supporters as monkeys and dogs who know nothing about football. So this case highlights reputational damage, uh, which can affect an individual or organization for a while. Tepo Matseba is uh, the managing director at uh, Reputation First Group and a brand and a reputation strategist. He joins me now. A very good evening to you, uh, Mr. Matseba. Good, good evening indeed. And uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for joining us indeed. Uh, good evening, Christelle. Thank you so much for the opportunity to chat. Yeah? All right. Uh, you know, Mr. Matseba, this is just but one example, and I think we've seen many in the past, where uh, some, I guess, would say the chickens come home to roost. Irrespective of when you make particular statements, derogatory statements, uh, that uh, reputationally uh, and to your, your brand or your reputation could, could, could be of a significant harm, uh, not just at the time that you make those remarks, but uh, for much longer. Oh, yes, of course. So we've seen this type of uh, uh, consequences with a model uh, who was a uh, runner up to South Africa's um, Miss South Africa and uh, Bianca. And the, she made mistakes like this and comments like this when she was very young. And the consequences as a result became that she had to withdraw from this. And Miss South Africa had, as a company and as an institution, mm -hmm. they had to withdraw themselves from associating themselves with Bianca. So this is not different in the world of football and doesn't matter whether the context or is sports actually or it's politics, racism um, and misconduct that has to do with religion especially mm. or racism are very 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 bad uh, situations to be associated with i mean we've seen that example i remember very well uh, that instance uh, uh, regarding one of uh, the entrants for Miss south africa uh, that went viral on social media and I see a lot of examples were also made about, uh, you know, some possibly coming to her defense at the time, saying she was young, when we're young, we're saying we do stupid things. Uh, but, uh, I mean, from a reputational aspect, a brand a a aspect, how does one, if you can at all, guard against, you know, saying certain things, uh, not that you have to manage your racism if you're racist, uh, but, uh, you know, saying certain things that could be, uh, you know, uh, that could be, uh, used against you or could damage your reputation in future. I think when we're all growing up, in some instances, we tend to say and do stupid things. Absolutely. So, um, unfortunately, uh, when you are a coach or when you are about to appoint it in any position in a business such as football, uh, in a business such as South African football, and South Africa often people take it for granted because um, we're not uh, as sophisticated, um, people think, as Europe. But the consequences could be that you may not necessarily find work here in this country, mm. and you might not even find work in SADC, and definitely not in the U.S., even though they are not so strong in the world of football. The consequence uh, or the behavior of an individual uh, especially in a leadership position, um, if you want to succeed in life, if you want to succeed in the world of business, the world of, of, of sports, um, I think you might want to consider um, respecting other people, but also respecting the world of the work you do in that, that your, your religion, uh, your culture, your sports association, um, and your racial uh, tonality has nothing and is unrelated to your work. And I think that's where the the current situation is at, where a lot of people just jump and they make noise and they, they get excited, but they forget that those are consequences for their income, but also consequences for their brands. 
In this instance, uh, you know, uh, in this instance uh, relating to Cheaper United, do you think perhaps they could have uh, done more work uh, prior to having uh, a thought about this appointment, looking at the kind of person that, uh, uh, you know, they would be hiring, and this perhaps could be the lesson, not just in this instance pertaining to soccer, but uh, to many more companies who are, are more cognizant of that at the moment? <laughs> it's nearly impossible for yeah. you and I, as employers, uh, if we, if you and I uh, pretend for now that we are employers, uh, it's nearly impossible for us to actually anticipate um, what may have happened with a certain employee. Even if you do so much digging, there's so much more digging to do. And so we rely on the individuals that we employ themselves to be proactive and to tell the story as it may or may have not happened. But we also, as corporates and as business, have the responsibility to avoid being swayed by conversations yeah. and narratives on social media. And so what I would say is that it would be fair and only fair for us to allow um, the other person to give us their view while we are doing our own investigations. But the other person, meaning Tsepo, if he was looking to become the coach of Chipa United, for Tsepo to also be upfront and but also be honest about what may have transpired in his life before he got appointed as a coach or as a public relations officer or as a senior management member of a senior team in South Africa. So we cannot joke about the kind of stuff that are happening in South Africa where people just simply think that reputation is actually just one of the things that they do for a living. In fact, for all of us, you and I included, reputation should be an active engagement where we deliberately look for opportunities to improve and protect our names. Mr. Tepo Matseba, thank you very much indeed for your time. Managing Director at Reputation First Group and a brand reputation strategist. Thanks indeed for joining us.